Hello everybody, in this video, I am going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $100,565.41. In the past year, I am up $26,302.01. Year to date for the year 2024, I am currently up $10,150.57. Today was a green day for me, I made some money. During the day, I was up $1,622.42. After hours, I am down $2.50. So overall, a very green day. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I'm selling Robinhood $18 covered calls. These expire July 19. My total return, $250. I'm selling Starbucks $80 covered calls. These expire July 19. My total return $804. I'm selling SoFi $8 covered calls. These expire July 19. My total return $726. I'm selling Amazon $210 covered calls. These expired July 26. My total return, I am down $363. I'm selling PayPal $65 covered calls. These expired July 26. My total return, $108. I'm selling Disney $110 covered calls. These expire August 2nd. My total return, $174. I'm selling Google $210 covered calls. These expire December 20th. My total return, I am down $8. And I have McDonald's $210, $200 with credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $140. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $199.59. My average cost, $98.95. My total return, $30,196.43. I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $6.55. My average cost, $5.62. My total return, $5,560.80. I have 300 shares of Disney. Disney is at $97. My average cost, $60. My total return, $11,100. I have 1,000 shares of Robinhood. Robinhood is at $22.34. My average cost, $17.53. My total return, $4,815. I have 100 shares of Google. Google is at $191.24. My average cost, $142.48. My total return, $4,876. I have 200 shares of PayPal. PayPal is at $58.90. My average cost, $57.70. My total return, $240. I have 200 shares of Starbucks. Starbucks is at $72.68. My average cost, $78.15. My total return, I am down $1,091.50. This is a margin account. My margin total is $106,115.60. My margin used is $88,548.32. My options collateral is $10,000. This leaves me with $7,567.28 in buying power.
My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $42,431.60. This is how much more money I can lose before I get margin called. My annual interest rate is 6.55%. The daily interest that I am paying is $15.87. And I am borrowing $1,000 interest free. So a very green day for me, made about $1,500. I did change something in my portfolio today, and that is my Google covered calls. My Google covered calls used to have an expiration date of the 19th of this month, and the strike price was $180. But as you can see, now I changed the strike price to $210, and the expiration date was rolled further out to December 20th, the end of this year. If we look, go to my history, as you can see, Google covered call roll. So I paid a debit of $301 to roll it out. And what happened was the $180 Google covered call expiring on July 19th. I got rid of that. And now I have the Google $210 covered call expiring December 20th. So this order filled and I was able to roll it out. I did this because I want to keep my shares of Google. Right now, Google's at $191. And if I just kept my covered calls with the strike price of $180, if it expired around this price above my $180 strike price, then my shares of Google would have gotten called away and then I wouldn't have had them anymore. However, I want to keep them. So that's why I rolled them out to a further expiration date and a higher strike price. We'll see what happens from now until December 20th. And that's the only thing that I changed in my portfolio. Nothing else. I did think about, and I keep on saying this too, I did think about today changing the strike price of my Robinhood covered calls to something like $20 or more. It makes very little difference in terms of the premium that I get but that was something that I was thinking of today, but I ended up not doing that. Anyways, I'm back above $100,000 again in my portfolio, and I haven't added any money to my portfolio in a while because I've been just busy spending the money elsewhere, like going out to conventions and whatnot. Anyways, that's pretty much all I have to say in this portfolio update. I will be making more portfolio updates in the future, so, if you guys like this type of content and you guys want to see more, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.